Uh, leading up to election night, we talked to some businesses here in the Valley. There have been some reports around the country about concerns about the effects of the election and potential uh, protesting, violence. Did you see anything around the Valley? Did Metro have to deal with anything last night? No, um, surprisingly, we didn't. Um, I was, we were basing everything off what you heard and what you just as described, and we thought we were going to have some concerns with the anarchists um, dis disrupting the polling locations, but thankfully we didn't. We had a you know, very comprehensive plan put in place uh, in conjunction with the Secretary of State and the Attorney General, and we ensured that we had uh, officers available in case we were called. And, Thankfully, nothing happened. So that gives me some pride in you know our community and, and people how they deal with uh, what's going on in the nation. So, but yet we still have a couple days to go, obviously, because decisions haven't been completely made, and hopefully um, uh, it's not contested, and which causes uh, us some concerns um, in going forward. So we're going to have all the resources still in place to deal with it for the next few days until we can finalize the, the vote across the nation and people make a decision how they're going to act. Uh, aside from this uh, potential issue of uh, the business owners, at least some of them had, had brought up, what kind of security did Metro provide at the polling locations, the more than 120 of them around Clark County? Yeah, that's a good question. So there, there was concerns that we were going to be oppressive um, if we were present and people could see us there staged at the polling location. So we made a point of staying out of people's view, uh, but able to respond quickly if needed. And so it was mostly a, just a drive-by type mode that we were in, um, just to be aware, present, and able to respond in a, in a timely manner. So um, other than that, that that's that's all she wrote basically we had a, a department operations center stood up similar to what we do with new year's eve so we have a lot of resources um to bear if needed uh, via a phone call a quick phone call we can and can bring all those uh, resources to play and we had you know internally uh, the detectives were all outfitted in uniforms in case we needed to respond in a timely manner uh, similar to what we do with other major events like new year's eve so, so but thankfully they were just bored and we didn't have to go to that, uh, go that direction. They were, the, they were the only ones who were bored yesterday, I think, given what was going on. <laughs>